Uh, anybody's ever met Eleanor, she's a show off. She is so much fun. Such a showman. She's always there to put on a performance. Go! Please. You immediately fall in love with her. With a laugh like that. <laughs> that's my girl. And those bright blue eyes. It is easy to see that two-year-old Eleanor is full of life. Miss Eleanor. Flush, flush, flush. She is spunky. <laughs> Sassy, out of all three of my kids, probably oh my God. <laughs> the wildest one by far. <laughs> but Eleanor has had a hard go. She was born with Down syndrome on May 4th, 2019, and then diagnosed with TMD. TMD is transient myeloproliferative disorder. I think it just makes a lot of immature cells, and sometimes it does go away. And hers kind of did go away for a while, like resolved. In March of 2020, started to represent. Her blood work started looking a little different, so they started checking her more often. And then in August, they saw some cells on her blood work that they have never seen before, so then they did a bone marrow biopsy, and that's when she was diagnosed with leukemia. When we got the diagnosis, we weren't super surprised, just because we knew kind of she was a little sluggish. The team at Children's, the doctors, they were very, very clear on, you know, the plan of taking care of this and ultimately getting a good outcome. 12 months and six rounds of chemotherapy <laughs> later, the smile on Eleanor's face, <laughs> Sorry. and the happy tears in her dad's eyes, <laughs> show the Creebles <laughs> received a great outcome. Congratulations, dear Eleanor. That little Eleanor is cancer free. As Eleanor rang the bell at St. Louis Children's Hospital earlier this spring. We had our whole family there to ring the bell. It was so exciting. Excitement for this year's Pedal the Cause started to build, especially after last year's ride turned into a virtual one. Hey, there's the ball. Nathan and Molly are honored their spunky little two-year-old will inspire others to make it a world without cancer. I like that the funds rights do like stay in St. Louis and can benefit any kids or adults in the future that come across a diagnosis like this and make you feel like you are making a difference and to people you may know. Just like sassy and sweet Eleanor. Laura Hedegar, <laughs> News 4.